Viruses to me are fun, exciting, scary. They're a bit of a mystery. We want to understand them more, how they appeared. Can we stop them? <laughs> I guess depending on who I talk to, I'm either a virologist or a structural biologist. I'm using cryo microscopy to study viruses. You can use your eyes to see things, but if you use electrons, which are smaller particles than photons, then you will be able to see even smaller things. I want to understand how the building blocks work with each other in order to, to infect a cell. What we try to do is align our research with modules, the lectures that we teach give students the opportunity to basically be part of an active project. So what some students don't realize is that we don't know the answers for that project. When students join the lab, I treat them as an equal. Share ideas, think of a way forward, I explain things as clear as possible. And then I try to add layers of complexity if need to be, making it very clear what is the big picture. You always want to do research, but you also want to do better teaching, and combining them is where you can actually do best. Just being able to wake up every day and say, yes, I'm doing what I like. Research-led teaching is teaching about what you're passionate about, everything that you've been devoting probably years, uh, and basically just transmitting that knowledge uh, to students. It's priceless, in my opinion. It's really exciting for me, and, and I think it's really interesting, uh, but I hope that it has real uh, life uh, effect, that it, it changes the world in a way. And every time you have a success, it's like, yes, I, I made a contribution. It might be small, uh, but it's just pushing uh, the boundaries of knowledge a bit farther. My name is Juan Fontana, and I teach biochemistry at the University of Leeds.